Hi and welcome to One and a Quarter Chefs with the half Japanese twist. I'm taking a recipe from this cookbook. It's a red wine and beef risotto and I'm putting a twist on it by using Japanese Wagyu. Check it out. I'm gonna put chicken stock in here. Got my special assistant with me. This is stock cubes. We're gonna use these to make chicken stock to add to the risotto. Onion, celery, wagyu, chicken stock. Celery, onions, wagyu, chicken stock. Let's go. Go. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Can you put this back in the box? Where's mommy? Mommy went shopping. So I fried up the rice in the oil until the rice was clear and then I added the red wine and that sucked up the red wine into the rice straight away. And then I added a bunch of stock and I'm just gonna keep doing that slowly through the process. Costco Parmigiano in and then it's just melting in there nice and nice and easy. Just add a little bit of a Parmesan flavor. In about 20 minutes. The rice is still a touch al dente. I'm just gonna wait until it gets to the edge and then I'm gonna put everything else in. Turn off heat. Sliced it up. Got my onions and my celery. They're gonna go in towards the end of the process. Now the one thing you wanna make sure with risotto is that you don't overcook it because then you end up with rice pudding and nobody wants rice pudding. But nobody wants getting rice stuck in their teeth either. So if you don't cook it for long enough, you're in trouble. If you don't cook, if you cook it for too long, you're in trouble. So you've gotta get it just right. And that's why risotto takes constant care. And really you uh, don't have time to think about anything else. Especially screaming kids when you're doing a risotto. So they're sitting down watching kids programs right now. <laughs> so now we've got this beautiful glistening texture. You can see it's all shiny and that's what we want. That beautiful shininess. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my onions and my celery in. And what I've done is I've chopped them really fine so, you know, people don't have to crunch the celery. And that, that's a great thing too. If you have big chunks of celery, that's really nice too if you like celery. But some people don't, and it puts them off. So I cut it really thin and fine, so it almost like just disappears into it. And now what we've been waiting for, we've got this. It's beautiful wagyu. This is the half Japanese twist on this risotto. Wagyu goes in there. And I want to put it in right at the end. Yes, I know if you long cook it, then it spills the juices, but we've actually cooked it in the same pan, so it should be okay as well. But I don't want to really overcook the beef, you know? I want to get this, uh, this great, soft uh, effect for the Wagyu. And it will color, it won't come out red, it'll be nice and red and pink in the middle hopefully. And there we go, look at this texture. Look at the texture of this risotto. I think that's ready to turn the power off and let it sit. And basically what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit more stock to it when I reheat it ready for everyone to eat. And the kids, they need to eat it at a cool down temperature. It's quite in it, but hey, we want an early night tonight. And that will just sit and it will continue to cook just a little bit and it'll be perfect. We serve it up. Red wine and wagyu risotto. Done. What do you think about your risotto? Good. Yeah? Did you yes. have a good time making risotto? Yes. So next time by yourself? Yes. Okay.